Hi Libra, this is your career and money reading for April 2020. I hope you're doing well. So we're going to do a nice big, 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 <laughs> big, big spread looking into the month of April 2020 to see what's coming through for you, Libra. So this is going to be for sun, moon, rising signs. Um, Venus also, I think, can count just because Venus is also to do with passion and um, oftentimes it's a good gauge into career as well. So let's have a look, let's see what's coming through, uh, what messages I can give you as well and we are going to take an insight. So yeah, also I do want to mention actually just before I get started, if you'd like to win a free reading with me, do check out the description box below. I've been doing a free reading giveaway now for a whole year which is amazing. It's been my pleasure to read for so many of you. Also, if you'd like to purchase a private paid reading, um, information will be in the description box below as well. They are done within 24 hours usually. And the last thing I want to mention is my intention bracelets are on Etsy. If you want to see the reviews and see how other people have seen results with these handmade items that I have made, please do check out my Etsy shop and also the reviews section. So I'm wearing the finance and wealth one and the career bracelet as well. There's loads of different other items on there, free international shipping, they're meditated with and they're also staged and they are sent out by me as well. So Libra, let's get started with this reading. I'm really quite curious to see what comes through for career and money or work and finance, you know, however you like to call it. April 2020, let's Get shuffling, shuffling. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Don't know if you can see what's happening here, but this deck of cards is literally so tiny, so, so tiny in comparison to my other, um, <laughs> just look at it, it's so tiny. Um, we have got here the Hierophant, the Queen of Wands, the Hermit. And also, just to prove that all the cards actually are in here, oh, there you go. <laughs> they are definitely all in here. Um, it's just that this deck, I think, I get so many questions, you know, people asking me why this deck is so tiny on camera, but... It just is. The thing is, it just is. I mean, this one, for example, in comparison, the cards are so much thicker, which is why I make, I think that makes a huge difference. But these ones are, they're thinner, really, really thin cards. Anyway, so we've got here the Hierophant, the Queen of Wands, the Four of Pentacles. We've got the Hermit. We've also got the Four of Wands. We've got the Ace of Cups, Page of Cups, Ten of Cups. And I want to let you know that even though I did show you some cards in the deck, that was me purposely showing those to you for the purpose of letting you know that those cards are actually in the deck. But what comes out on the table is for your reading. And a lot of the times, <laughs> the readings are super, super positive, right? So it can be really confusing at times as to what the heck is actually going on. But um I want to assure you that this is truly what I'm seeing, right? So we have got here also. So what's on your table is for your reading. Right. Five of pentacles. And we've got these cards. Death. Two of wands. Ace of pentacles. Five of Pentacles, King of Wands, Six of Pentacles. If you have any travel plans, I see them being cancelled or delayed or postponed. Just letting you know, especially for those of you that maybe travel in regards to work, it's it's uh, postponed here, especially with the Five of Pentacles. There's a delay, there's a, um, a cancellation, let's just say, or a a, you know it getting postponed but cancelled for the time being but what I do see also with the hermit is there's quite a lot of energy where you're spending a lot of time by yourself throughout the course of April there's also this energy of sort of being isolated it's that hermit energy of really spending or giving more time to yourself 
this is also a time of discovery and it's also a time of um, discovering talents. That's what I'm seeing, right? Discovering talents. Page of Cups is very talented. Look at how a fish magically appears in that cup. So it's really about discovering um, elements of yourself. It's about realizing what you truly want to do in life. It's about your passion, your dreams, right? What have you always wanted to do in your life? Let me know in the comment section below in regards to your career. What is it? You know, what have you truly always wanted to do? Your ultimate passion, your ultimate goal. Because during this time, I think you're really going to consider it. You're going to think about what you truly wanted to be nourished by and what makes you feel good, what would have made you feel the best, right? Because the Queen of Wands is truly a very, very strong energy about passion. It's about stability finance because I know that you want this ten of cups right and you want more of it so this is a real good time to think about your passions your dreams are you where you want to be and if you're not how can you get there I think that so many people are going to be thinking to themselves you know what you only live once I want to live my dream and I really see you making a plan for that in April you're going to think to yourself okay so how can I do that? How can I network with people? And you're going to make a plan. So April is a plan. Obviously, there's a lot happening in the world right now, especially there's a whole health situation unfolding. So with that being said, of course, it is very, very important that I'm seeing this, right? Because it pretty much connects. And I think you're also going to think to yourself, okay, when things become a bit more normal in the world, more stable in the world in that sense, this is how I'm going to go towards my dream because there are no limits then. There may be limits now, but there will be no limits then and I can go towards the things that I truly want to go towards. I can do the things that I truly want to do. And that's what also the Hierophant here is showcasing. It's showcasing this beautiful energy of stability. It's this energy of you going towards your dreams. And the King of Wands here is about passion. It's also about your hobbies. It's about doing what makes you feel really passionate. Now, in April specifically, I see that you might actually set up something online, you might um, do something that can actually attract more money inwards. This can also be to do with your career. Now, for those of you that are unemployed currently, you might do something on the side. Well, when I say something on the side, obviously, it's going to be sort of the mo main sort of dominant thing but you may actually be looking for opportunities online and things like that and then you might do something on the side where you are earning some money from maybe doing something online or if you have a stable career that's going to continue that will bring you finances but you also might get a promotion on top of that you might get um, an increase in responsibilities in regards to work so that's just what I'm seeing but I'm definitely seeing you Really think about your passion. What makes you feel good? What do you want to do long term? Because the Ten of Cups is long term. So this Ten of Cups here shows that you're envisioning all of this in April, which is why you're starting to feel really positive. You're starting to feel really good. It goes from feeling left out in the cold and feeling like this is a terrible, terrible month. What the heck is happening in April? You feel like <laughs> everything's just sort of at a dead end to actually then being really optimistic, feeling passionate about certain things. Think about what you've truly always wanted to do and how you can get there. Make a plan, you know, and I think that that's also going to make you feel really, really good. You might decide to set something up online and make money from from it as well. The Four of Pentacles shows you gaining money and actually saving it. So I am seeing some saving going on here. We also see with the Four of Wands that you're meant to be in this particular place in your life right now. It may seem really annoying. It may seem like, why? But 11-11, being on the right path. You're meant to be on this path. The Six of Pentacles shows this beautiful balance. It's supposed to be happening. It may not feel like it, but there's a reason to it and you may see a lot of repeating numbers, it's leading you to your passion and your true calling and your purpose in life, which I think is unbelievable. Your purpose. Imagine that. You're being led to it in April and you're going to find it even through dreams, signs and synchronicities as well. So Libra, with that being said, this is your reading and I hope it gave you lots of clarity, information, knowledge. Really hope that it helps you in your path and I hope you have, you know, an absolutely lovely, wonderful day or night wherever you are, whenever you're watching this. Um, do comment down below if this resonates or rings true to your situation and also do check out the description box below for information 
on the private paid readings, free reading giveaway, and my bracelets, which you're on Etsy, and do take care, Libra. Bye!